Hi everyone, welcome to part two of DIY boosting your 3G or LTE pocket Wi-Fi. If you haven't seen part one, you can find the link in the video description down below. Now you can see I've made a slight upgrade since the last video. Um, it's still exactly the same reflector, but I've connected a piece of metal on the back. I literally just hot glued it on there, nothing fancy. And the reason I did that is that I can then mount it onto this tripod and it's much easier to position it and to make sure that it stays in position because in the previous part, I was kind of holding it and trying to angle it and it just wasn't very accurate. This is much more accurate and it's very easy, but it's literally just a piece of metal glued on the back there. Now one of the questions I was asked after my last video is which provider am I testing with? Well I'm testing with Smart in the Philippines, specifically SmartBro LTE. And in that last video, I said one of the things I'm going to do is test in a really bad signal area. But the problem is that Smart have done such a good job of upgrading their towers and installing more towers that I actually can't find an area with bad signal. We're still going to do more testing today, but the signal in this area is actually okay as well. Now, before we do any testing, let me show you how you actually make one of these yourself because some people did ask, okay, how do we make it? So I'm going to show you. Now, one of the first things you need to do is download the template and you can find the link for that in the video description down below. And when you print it out, it will look something like this. Of course, I've already cut this out of the paper and that's all you need these two pieces here now you might be thinking wait isn't that much smaller than that one well yes I sized mine up I scaled it up to be much larger so this is actually the version that I use this one here now this was actually too big for my printer so what I did was connected my laptop to my TV and then I stuck the paper onto the TV and just traced it and then cut it out so you don't actually need a printer you can just do it by hand by tracing either on your laptop screen or if you want it bigger than on a TV screen screen and once you've got your template you want to find something that's stronger than paper because this just isn't strong enough now for this one I used a plastic folder like this but you can also just use cardboard I use this because I just didn't have any cardboard large enough whereas this is quite a large folder so you just put your templates on there like this cut around them and then you'll have your parts needed. And then once you cut those parts out, what you're gonna do is take this one and cover it with foil. Now it could either be aluminum foil from the kitchen, you could just use some glue or even just fold it around and then tape it. Or you can use this foil tape here, which is what I use just because it's easier, but either one will work. So you just cover this in foil. That's your back reflector that you see here. And then where you see these two dots, you cut out a hole big enough to fit your pocket Wi-Fi or your USB stick in, or even your cell phone, depending on what you're looking to boost. And then once you slot it together, you're going to end up with something that looks similar to this. This is very ugly. I do admit that um, I didn't do a great job, but I'm really just going for prototype and demonstration. It doesn't have to look great. I just want to show you guys how well it works and how you can make one yourself. So let's go ahead and start our testing. I'm going to start without the reflector. And just like before, I'm going to find the sweet spot for it and then start doing our speed tests. So what I normally do is just fold up a piece of tissue put this under here and that helps us find the sweet spot because the modem does do better when it's angled a little bit at least in my experience it will vary between areas some orientations will do better than others so we're going to use speedtest.net and just like before I'm going to do multiple tests one after the other but rather than making you sit there and watch them all I'm just going to do the test cut it show you the result do the test cut it show you the result so it's much faster let's go ahead and do our first test 14.72 down 1.48 up, 15.03 down, 1.07 up, and a ping time of 90 milliseconds. 11.22 down, 1.09 up, and 77 ping. 13.85 down, 0.94 up, 86 millisecond ping. 15.11 down, 0.96 up, and an 83 millisecond ping. 14.37 down, 0.99 up and 86 millisecond ping. Now let's try with the reflector and see what kind of results we get. So this is the best spot I found and you can see that it's actually kind of pointing at a weird angle, quite low down, um, but it's really gonna vary depending on your exact area, where the tower is, what's around you, everything like that. For me right now, this is producing the best results. So 15.99 down, 3.47 up, ping time of 83 milliseconds. 15.54 down, 3.95 up, ping time of 79 milliseconds. 15.15 down, 3.56 up, 74 milliseconds ping. 15.16 down, 4.05 up, 84 millisecond ping. Now I'm starting to wonder if maybe the tower is capping my speed because I see some huge swings up to like 20, 25, and then it comes back down and then it kind of stabilizes at 15. So I'm really wondering, anyway, let's keep testing. 
14.17 down, 3.45 up, 73 millisecond ping, 15.95 down, 4.52 up, 72 millisecond ping. Now let's try again, but this time without the reflector. You can see that I do raise this up so that when we have the pocket Wi-Fi here, it's around about the same height as it would have been when we were using this reflector here. And we got 12.07 down, 0.65 up, ping time of 83 milliseconds. So there's really no doubt that this simple reflector can make a huge difference, especially if you take the time to angle it exactly in the sweet spot. And it costs basically nothing because all you need is some paper, some cardboard, and some aluminum foil. It's really that simple to reproduce yourself at home. So if you have any questions or suggestions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.